If you've known me for a while, you already know that I taught you how to zoom up from a single car wheel, but one of the other techniques that's becoming popular among many car editors these days is zooming out from multiple car wheels. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is to import your clips to the timeline and make sure they are overlay to each other just like this. Then go to the window and make sure this tracker option is enabled. While your second video is selected, click on Stabilize Motion. Now adjust this tracker point to the center of your wheel. You can even zoom in to ensure it's perfectly on the center of the wheel. Then click on Analyze to start analyzing the wheel. After analyzing is done, just click on Apply and make sure you apply on X and Y, then click OK. Now to get rid of some of these black screens, you just need to scale up the video a little bit. Then right click, select Pre-Compose and make sure second option is enabled and click OK. Now we need to track the wheel in this video. To do this, you can simply select the Ellipse tool and create a mask around the wheel. Change the mask mode to None and then you can make sure that the mask is perfect. Then right click and select Track Mask. In the Tracker panel, make sure the method is Position, Scale and Rotation and click on the Play button to start tracking tracking the wheel. And there you have it. Set the mask mode of this layer to subtract. Then duplicate this layer a few more times, something like 5 or 6 is enough. On the last layer, press M on your keyboard and set the mask mode to add. But make sure to hide this layer for now. Select all of these layers and enable 3D on them. By the way, if you can't see this option, simply click on toggle switches and then you can see them. But before we continue, I want to introduce you to one of the best websites to learn video editing using After Effects. You know that learning video editing is absolutely a challenge. And as a guy who learned video editing using YouTube videos, I have to say it's not a good idea. I mean, you don't even know where to start when you decide to learn video editing using YouTube. I mean, even a 3 year old boy can be a teacher on YouTube. But Skillshare made it super easy for you. Using the tutorials on a Skillshare you can learn video editing in whatever style that you want. Not from everyone, but from the professionals. And it's not just video editing. You can learn art and illustration, design, development, music production, photography, productivity, and much more. The best thing about Skillshare is their discussion tab where you can ask your questions and a professional teacher or other members will answer you in no time. I'm currently learning documentary style edits using the tutorials on Skillshare and I have to admit that their tutorials are absolutely fire. Their tutorials are super easy to understand, simple to follow along with, and they use an absolutely creative approach to teach their skills. And guess what? The first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen will receive a 1 month free trial of a Skillshare. You can learn any type of art you want using their academy's tutorials, so don't miss this opportunity. Now right click and create a new camera layer with the default settings. Make sure 3D view pop-up is on active camera. Then change the view layout to two views and change the second view to top. Make sure you're not changing anything on the top layer. Then select the layer beneath that layer and reposition the Z value just like this. Then select the layer beneath that layer and do the same. Then select the other layer and reposition it a little bit more. Do the same with all the layer beneath your first layer. So you could see something like this. Now select these layers and press S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. From top to bottom, reduce each layer's scale by 10. So the first one is 90, the second one is 80, other one is 17, and the last one is 16. You can now change the view layout to one view. Extend the camera's transform properties and add a keyframes for position and point of interest. These keyframes should be at the end of your zoom out. Then move to the point where you want your zoom in to begin, select this option, and zoom inside the wheels just like this. So far your zoom out is looks like this. Now unhide the wheel layer and place it beneath the first subtracted layer. Press P on your keyboard and add a keyframe for the position. Bring this keyframe at the end of your zoom out and move the wheel out of the screen for the first frame. Finally, select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor and create a curve like this. Then select all these layers and enable motion blur. And now, if you check it back, you see that you have a clean zoom out of multiple wheels. Alright, I guess that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. Fellas, never forget to subscribe to Adobe Simplified. See you in the next one. Bye.